by your side. Reader's Rainbow. Reader's Rainbow. Reader's Rainbow. Welcome to Mr. L's Fireside Reader's Rainbow. I am Mr. L. Today's selection is from my first Bible story, The Christmas Story. Appropriate because it's December 1st, Giving Tuesday, National Christmas Lights Day, and towards the beginning of Advent. Boy, am I excited. Long ago, in a place called Nazareth, there lived a young woman named Mary. She was engaged to be married to Joseph, a carpenter, who loved to daydream about their future life together. One day, as she swept her yard, Mary noticed the stranger smiling at her. She didn't know who he was, and she was frightened. My name is Gabriel, the stranger said. I have brought you a message from God. Mary was too amazed to speak. Don't be afraid, said Gabriel. God has chosen you to do something special for him. Soon you will have a baby. He will be God's own son and he will be king. You are to call him Jesus. Mary trusted God, so she agreed to do what he asked of her. But Joseph felt upset because he knew he wasn't a father. I love you, Mary, but I don't know if I could still marry her, he thought. So he prayed to God for help. God heard his prayers, and that night he sent an angel to visit Joseph in a dream. The angel was gentle and kind. Do not worry, Joseph, he said. You should marry Mary <laughs> and love her as your wife. She is the most special of women, chosen by God to be the mother of his son. The baby will be named Jesus which means savior because he will save his people. When Joseph woke up, he decided to marry Mary <laughs> right away. I trust in God, he said to himself. So Mary and Joseph were married as they waited patiently for the baby to arrive. Soon after the wedding, Emperor Augustus, who ruled over the land where Mary and Joseph lived, lived decided to make a list of all the people in his empire to make sure they paid their taxes. Joseph had been born in Bethlehem, far away from Nazareth. My wife can't travel now. She's going to have a baby soon, Joseph said to the messenger. She should stay at home in comfort, not travel far away. Can we go to Beth Bethlehem another time? The messenger shook his head. No, he said sternly. This is emperor's orders. You must go now. The journey to Bethlehem took many days. The roads were bone dry and dusty and the sun beat down. Often Mary had to stop and rest. At last, one night, they arrived in Bethlehem. Joseph looked at Mary and saw how tired she was. We'll find a place to stay for the night. They reached the very last inn in town, but the innkeeper said, there is no room. You'll have to try somewhere else. What can My we do? My baby is coming soon. The innkeeper was a kind man and saw how tired Mary was. Come with me, he said. I have a place that might do. The innkeeper led them to a barn behind the inn. I know this is too much to the innkeeper, but it's a warm, dry day. Mary and Joseph looked inside. The barn was filled with animals, and the floor was covered with fresh hay. My baby will be safe here, said Mary. Thank you for your kindness. Later that night, Mary gave birth to a little boy. Joseph lined the manger with fresh hay to make a soft bed. Mary gently wrapped the baby in a blanket and laid him down. We will love you and care for you, little one, and we will call you Jesus. I, on a hillside nearby, some shepherds were looking at their sheep. The night was dark and still, and the sheep were dozing peacefully. Suddenly, there was a dazzling brightness in the sky, and the angel appeared. What's happening, cried the shepherds, huddling together in fear. Don't be afraid, said the angel. I have the most wonderful news for you and all of your people on earth. The Son of God has been born in Bethlehem. He is the king who will save humankind. The shepherds ran down from the hillside and through the streets of Bethlehem. They ran and ran until at last they heard a baby's cry and found the barn where Jesus was sleeping. So the shepherds went inside and saw Mary with a tiny baby in a manger. Wonderful, said the first they shepherd. they to gaze at him? We are poor. We have no gift for him, they said to Mary. All they have to give him is love. That same night, a new star appeared in the sky in a far-off land. 
three wise men looked up and saw it. They knew it meant that something very special had happened. The wise men traveled across many deserts for many nights, finally arrived in Jerusalem. They went to the palace and asked the guards to take them to the ruler, King Herod. Where is the new king, they asked. We have traveled far following the new star that appeared on the night of his birth. Evil King Herod. Again into the night and traveled to Bethlehem where the star led them to Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. We have come to see the new king, they said to Joseph. Here is precious gold. While the wise men slept, God visited each of them in a dream. He warned them not to return to Herod. So in the morning, the wise men went straight home and did not return to Jerusalem. King Herod learned that the wise men had disobeyed him. He was furious. I am the only king, he roared. Get rid of that guy. Jesus was not safe in Bethlehem now. So God sent an angel to visit Joseph while he slept. You must wake up. Escape to Egypt, where you all will be safe. Jesus was safe in Egypt, and he lived there peacefully with Mary and Joseph for some years. His parents missed their home in Nazareth, but while King Herod was alive, they knew they could not return. When they arrived, they were glad to be back in their home at last. Joseph held Jesus as he stood in the doorway of their little house. This is Nazareth, the town where you will grow up, he said with a smile. Welcome home, Jesus. That was the Christmas story from the book of My First Bible Story. I hope you enjoyed Mr. L's Fireside Reader's Rainbow with Mr. L. God bless.